Hello everyone, I am Hannah. I'm here today to open up my travel toiletries bag and show you what I take overseas with me. All right, so basically I have a list. This is not like everything I travel with. I travel with other stuff, but basically this would be like the bare bones of what I would travel with. I actually did travel with this bag and I just got back like three days ago. So some of the products were thrown out, they were empties, and I had only 20 kilos to travel back with. It's a long story. So I had to chuck them out. But the first one that I, I always travel with is a gentle cleanser. So if you only want to take one cleanser away with you, I would go for a gentle cleanser. When I'm at home, like I'll alternate between like an AHA cleanser and a gentle cleanser. But I think if you're traveling, just take one. So that's the first thing. The second one is I only do hot holidays. So I always travel with a pigmentation serum, if not multiple pigmentation serums. So you can obviously take with you like vitamin C, you can take all the ingredients, but if you're just going to choose like one or two serums I would go for something for pigmentation because usually those serums will contain like multiple ingredients that are targeting like multiple skin concerns I actually took two serums I mean I took more than two but these two are probably my favorite so basically I get like melasma when I travel melasma is like type of hyperpigmentation and it's activated by like heat and the sun usually when I'm away I like don't generally use like too many actives but this time I was like no 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 I'm going to use the actives. I'm going to try to stay out of the sun as much as I can, wear a hat, wear sunscreen, because I really don't want like my melasma and pigmentation to flare up. It actually worked. So the two serums that I took away with me were the Alpha H Liquid Midnight Reboot Serum. This one has got AHAs and retinol, but I found it to be gentle enough that I could take it away with me and I could still like, you know, I was still out and about in the heat. Uh, I didn't have any sensitivity issues, no redness. So I found this one gentle enough to use use like quite a few nights a week. The next serum was, I took the Aesthetics RX Ultimate Serum. This one is like a brightening serum, but it's also an exfoliant. So it's got your niacinamide, AHAs, BHAs. So these two will kind of like cover you off in terms of like texture issues, if you're getting breakouts, cause like when I'm sweating in the heat, I always end up getting breakouts. Um, it'll also help with like skin tone unevenness. So these are just really all rounders. So an optional serum that you could also take is a hydrating serum. So I actually took with me the Viviology Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So if I was finding that I didn't want to use actives and I kind of wanted to like give my skin a bit of a break for a couple of days, I would always opt for this one. Also, I took it with me on the plane. So like on the way there and on the way back, it like adds in moisture to the skin. It's just a really good, gentle, all rounder serum and it'll really help to protect your skin barrier as well. So in terms of moisturizer, I have oily skin but also I think anyone that's out in the heat is going to find that you're like sweating a lot. I would opt during the day for a gel moisturizer. This is probably one of my favorites. It's the Harder Labo Skin Plumping Gel. You basically, you can just wear this. You don't have to worry about any makeup. It gives you like a really nice glow, like summer holiday glow. And also because it's a gel, like it's not going to kind of trap in like the oils and the moisture. So it's going to let your skin breathe. I love this one and it's really affordable as well. The whole Harder Labo range is amazing. However, I guess at like nighttime or like if you're traveling on like planes, I probably want to opt for something a little bit more like hydrating. I really like, you can see it's like almost empty. The Viviology Ceramide Moisturizer. And because it's so little as well, you can sort of pack that one in addition to your gel moisturizer. So body moisturizer. It's taken me so long to find the perfect body moisturizer. I feel like the problem with using like a thick moisturizer or a balm, this is this has happened to me all the time, is you put it on and all of a sudden you get sweaty again and it just like traps in all the heat and you and it's just it's not comfortable I've discovered like I think it's the best travel moisturizer and it's really affordable it's the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion so it has like a pump that you can close your moisturizer is not going to spill everywhere so it's like really travel friendly it's kind of like a it's got ceramides it's like ultra hydrating but then it's not really thick it's not like a thick balmy buttery texture it's like 
a really good texture for like being in like the heat. I'm actually going to repurchase that to use like every day in Melbourne. I love it. So next is sunscreen. With the body sunscreen, I would just, I would definitely just take a 50 plus for your favorite body SPF. In terms of face SPF, I took, I obviously, I ran out. I think I took three tubes with me. I took the ultraviolet supreme screen, but I recommend that you find a face SPF that you are like really happy to put on every single day. So like in the morning, like even if I was getting up at seven in the morning to go for a run, always sunscreen, five pumps of sunscreen and a hat. I just did not want my pigmentation to flare up whatsoever. That's going to be the best way to keep that pigmentation at bay in addition to using those like serums that target those concerns. All right. So the next one would be a face tan. So I don't like to put my face in the sun. Don't want to get any natural tan on the face. This face tan will give you like that holiday glow. So like fake it till you make it. No, no, no. Just fake it all together. Don't fake it till you make it. <laughs> just fake it. I use, these are the self tan drops. So you just need a couple of drops, mix it in with your serum, mix it in with your moisturizer and you'll wake up with a really nice glow. Okay. I only, I took, I took like a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. So I would recommend the same. I didn't, cause I got short hair now. I didn't take a mask. I didn't have to take too much, but I took, only took two hair hair like treatment products for after the shower. So the first one, this is like my new all time fave hair product. It's the Olaplex number no. nine bond protector hair serum. It does have like a full serum texture. It's super lightweight. It's like perfect for travel. It also has heat protection so that you can then straighten your hair. Good frizz, adds moisture. It's just like the best all rounder and you honestly wouldn't have to take anything else away with you. But I did. I took one more um, treatment product. This is the Kerastase Curl Manifesto. It's the daily moisturizing frizz leave-in treatment. So this is like sort of like a curl balm and I would kind of alternate between the two. Honestly, this gives really nice curls. So I probably didn't need to take this one, but this one would probably add a little bit more moisture and I would use that if I wanted to have like extra curly hair. I did also take a detangling brush with me. This is like, I always detangle my hair in the shower and I really like, this is the wet brush one. I, I do not travel without a detangling brush. I don't think I wore makeup the whole time. The only product that I used from my makeup bag was the ultraviolet dream screen. I am in the shade V5. This is like an SPF skin tint. And like, I find that like if I was going out for dinner and I like, I'd had some breakouts and you know, or whatever I would just like apply a little bit of this on it would kind of it gives you like a glow but then also kind of like evens out the skin tone and then lips these are my two faves so this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask so good to have on the plane because my lips just like shrivel up and like dry out this is in gummy bear so nice if I'm going out at night going out for dinner I'll use the lip glowy balm it's a balm but it's got a gloss finish and the last thing, I really wanted to go without a straightener. Like I really, I was like, oh, maybe I should just go away without a straightener and see what happens. I just couldn't. So I did bring the GHD Max hair straightener. I didn't use it too much, but just always good to have if you're having a bad hair day. For me, the number one thing when traveling, particularly to somewhere like, so if you were traveling somewhere cold, you'd obviously be bringing more products for like putting moisture back into the skin. Whereas for me, if I'm traveling somewhere hot, which I think a lot of people do travel, travel somewhere hot unless you're going on like some ski holiday. My number one thing is to just like protect the skin on your face. Finding a sunscreen that you don't put it on and go, oh, this is so sunscreeny. Like something that just feels really nice and something that you're going to wear every single day. You're obviously not going to bring your like 10 serums that you use at home or however many you use at home. So I generally will try to choose serums that have like multiple ingredients in them. And then in terms of like cleansers and the moisturizers, just make sure they're super basic. You don't want to like have like too many active ingredients in them because you're going to be using them every single day. So just make sure they're like basic, hydrating and something that you're like happy to use every day. So if you have any travel related questions, please leave them below in the comments, but otherwise I'll see you next time.